I think underneath guys, as I'm so used to calling them, of course, enhancement talent, everybody knows them from, is just such an important, important part of our business because I still think it hurts a lot of the, the pay-per-views and a lot of the attendances. When you see the, the, the two big monsters on TV against each other, why would you go buy a ticket? I know they still do, but when you had the underneath guys and the enhancements guys, it was more work for us, of course, but they built up to that big, big, you had a main event. Uh, I don't even know why they even use the word main event now because the first match on TV is the main event. So what is a main event? I don't even understand. Uh, and I know that's what they've got to do now, but I missed that part of it because you went and bought a ticket to see Wahoo against Ric Flair because you didn't get to see that on television. Or occasionally they would uh, let it go off the air, you know, and let them fight on TV. And so you'd go to the arena to, to kind of see what happened. So that mystique part about it, and it goes back to this, is even to this day, People say, well, is wrestling fake? And I say, well, why do you want to know? Why? I'm honestly, how good is your life if you know the answer? I don't want to know. I swear I don't want to know. And, and I'm still a big, big fan. If I see some of the guys go out there, I, I'm sitting ringside. Well, nowadays, the funny thing is, it's so simple. I don't know who's bad and good. And that's not a good thing. I mean, you got the good guys coming out cussing, you know, shooting the middle finger. And the bad guys are worse, so I'm sitting here thinking, who am I supposed to cheer for? And, you know, the old guys used to say, just watch an old John Wayne movie. You know, the bad guy rides into town, pretty simple, steals the town, steals the, the girl, but then here comes John Wayne in the end, and you knew the difference. And that, I've always kept it that simple. Nowadays, heels think if I go out there and cuss that guy, you know, they're going to hate me. But what they don't understand is, this poor guy's been cussed at all day by his job, his wife's cussed him. He don't want to go to the matches and get cussed. So I'm so thankful the art form I were, uh, learned from is the art of pulling hair. And not really pulling hair, but just making it look like you're pulling hair. Do you know how many times there's not been a foreign object, but you thought that guy had a foreign object? And that, that art of it right there. You know, I was able and very privileged in my very younger days to get in the ring with the original Sheik, the original Sheik. And I'll never forget his first words to me ever. I mean, I'm talking the sheik from the magazines that breed fire and bled and ate people. And, but he looked right at me and he said, kid, he said, I'm not going to hurt you and you're not going to hurt me. And that scared me right to death. But I learned right then that there is an art form to it. And it wasn't the fact of him sticking you with his pencil. It was the art form of him going to, for the pencil and never getting caught with the pencil. And that's when I learned all. Oh, if he just sticks me with a pencil, it's over. But if he milks it for 20 minutes and then maybe gets caught a few times, oh, now I get it. Now I get it. It's like Ricky Morton says, and I love this. He says to these young kids, he says, when you think you're going too slow, go slower. <laughs> and I love that, you know. And that's such a great illustration of our business because most of the guys think, even the heels, if I go out there and I cuss everybody out in this building, calling them low down, jobless rednecks. Well, most of them are jobless rednecks and they don't need to be reminded of that. So I've learned that I get more, uh, more heat and get more people want to kill me just by leaving my jacket on too long. And I've had people email me, if you, if you don't take that jacket off, I'm gonna kill you next time. And it, but it works. I've had some of the wrestlers say, are you gonna do that like jacket spot again? And, but it works, see, it works. And, and I've had the guy, the, the, the veteran say, listen, George has had these people for 20 minutes wanting to kill him and he ain't even took a bump. Now who's the, smart, who's the smart one in this business? And that's the part that, I don't know if you can even teach it. You know, it, it ain't finding out if Santa Claus is real, it's the mystique of, is Santa Claus real? And, but I, that's the biggest thing now. I mean, uh, Stone Cold was the hottest thing in wrestling, you know, for many, many years and he was almost a baby face heel, you know, and the meaner and the nastier he was. And I guess that's just a sign of the times and the way things have changed, but uh, still that good, good looking baby face uh, makes a world of difference. But to bring the Sheik up again is to see how long it took him to get to the ring and, and me thinking, what is he doing? I'm waiting, but it, now, oh my gosh, I wish I could go back and apologize to him because it was, he's still working. Most people think it's the minute you get in the ring and you start to work, but no, no. The minute he came out that door, he was working. He was, it was, you know, he was, he was the sheik. And it would take him 30 minutes, going, like Brody going to the ring in Japan. You know, his entrance and swinging that chain and knocking out, you know, them Japanese people, that was as great as the match was. So I learned so much just by watching. And Luthez doing his stretches. 
before anybody ever he ever locked up with anybody. So that part of it, it of course, you don't see that now. They got to go straight to the ring, go straight to the ring. And and I get tickled now because I'll get in a ring with some of these young baby faces, and and I'll be getting the heat and stuff, and the, the bell ain't even run. But I've been out there for 30 minutes. So just the other night, I said, Ref, what are you doing? Ring that bell. I've been out here. I'm sweating. Get the crowd wanting to kill me. I've been out here for 40 minutes, and you ain't even rung the bell. And that's what a lot of people think. They think the match don't start till that bell rings, and it's it's so it's so wrong. The minute you go out that curtain, buddy, it's showtime. It's showtime.